una guila for magical dreams. And here is my sound of music world. With this quilt pattern, I get asked quite a lot how do I make the middle section and the stave in particular. So within this short video, I decide to show you how I do it exactly. <laughs> make the stave you will need. Printed outline from the Sound of Music quilt pattern. Make sure to print it actual size. You will also be using embroidery stabilizer. I'm using Pelon Fusing Tear, but you can also use other brands. You will also need some fabric and thread, tape, scissors and a seam ripper. Start by laying out the outline that is provided with the Sound of Music quilt pattern. To make a continuous stave, overlay the gray areas of corresponding pages. Pay attention, some pages may overlay with more than one other page. To hold everything in place, tape the different pages of the outline together. Then overlay the stave with the embroidery stabilizer. Put it back side up. To trace the outline, use a disappearing fabric pen or a simple pencil. Carefully trace all the lines to the back side of the embroidery stabilizer. Make sure every single line is well visible. If the stave is too large to fit under a single piece of embroidery stabilizer, use multiple pieces to cover it all. Once the stave is transferred onto the embroidery stabilizer, also mark the positions of vertical and horizontal center lines. This will help you to position the stave in the middle of the fabric later on. The next step is to embroider the stave onto the fabric. For that, let's find the middle of the fabric first. So fold the fabric in half and make little creases in the middle. Repeat this for all four center points. Now lay down the fabric and overlay it with a stave outline. Match the center points marked on the embroidery stabilizer with the ones labeled on the fabric. Once the stave is correctly positioned, iron it down to attach to the fabric. Also use pins for additional stability if needed. Now take everything to the sewing machine and stitch over the marked stave lines. I'm using so-called triple stretch stitch to make a thick embroidered line. When stitching, be careful at the curves not to twist the fabric. Stitch slowly and make sure that the embroidery stabilizer is well attached to the fabric. Once the embroidery is finished, the last step is to remove the embroidery stabilizer. To do so, just grab it with your fingers and peel it off. Removing all the paper from within the lines of the stave is somewhat tricky, but with a seam ripper and a lot of patience, it's certainly doable. Once the last pieces of paper are out, the stave is complete. Now just turn it around and you will see five beautifully embroidered lines of the stave. The stave is ready! I hope you found this tutorial useful. And the next video, I will show you how to join the middle section together with the two patchwork pieces. So see you in the next video. Bye!